Hey, what's up, everybody? Augment your day. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the new Lightkeeper Medallion Relic. This relic is actually a pretty rare relic that is actually the first and only combat relic in the game. They are finally introducing combat relic, which I'm pretty happy to say that I was actually the one who kind of gave the idea for there to be like a combat relic. And the idea was kind of to start off light because they don't want combat relics to be super strong. So, of course, this one's going to be a little bit on the lighter side, but it's still a pretty useful effect. Let's actually get into what it does. So, whenever you actually equip it, right? And in order to equip it, right, you actually have to take up a torso slot. So, this does, that's kind of like the downside. It does have stats that you can get with the stars right um but it's kind of hard to get a good roll as you can see this one literally uh if you take a look right here this one only has 10 ether no innate stats other than that so you may be losing some stats by um what's it called by like uh, equipping this on but the talent it gives you is actually pretty nice in my opinion so lfg light it says right here that it briefly protects you from the effects of uh, deep jumps for two minutes and it remains dormant until you take the life of an equal so let's go ahead and pop it right here oh all right, so this is actually what pops up if you do not have it. It says the blessing has not returned to you yet. You must take the life of an equal, and that means you have to kill someone equal to your power. So if you actually get this as like a power 18, you can kill other power 18s to level up uh, your, or to recharge your Elegy of Light. But yeah, so we're gonna knock this guy again real quick, and then we're gonna grip him, and you will see that whenever we do grip it, um, we will actually be able to use the Elegy of Light. Unfortunately, there's no like effect real quick on whenever you do end up gripping him, so they're probably gonna add that later down the line, but now we're gonna use it. And as you can see, this is the effect of the Elegy of Light. Um, you get this like weird little like uh, like kind of aura around you with like these runes that are kind of around you, and it's pretty cool. And as long as this is around you for two minutes, you actually get no, uh, you don't get affected by deep gems. So we can start off uh, by using like a bloodless gem real quick. <clears throat> as you can see, no gem worked on that. Go ahead and just run through your gems real quick. That one had a wind gem on it. That one didn't do anything that has a blessed. And that one has a wayward, and as you guys can see, none of the gems worked on any of them. Unfortunately, we didn't have Insignia here, but same thing with Insignia here. So anything that actually procs on the user will uh, just be denied. So unfortunately, it doesn't cancel blue gem because that would be impossible. I don't know how it would cancel blue gem. But yeah, for the most part, it, it would just stay like this for two minutes straight. And um, there is actually a bit of a cooldown here. Um, I believe this is actually the cooldown on how long it lasts. So as long as there is um, like a bit of like cooldown left, you still have a bit of time left for your Elegy of Light, which is pretty nice. I think the two minutes is good, but a lot of people think that it's not really that strong because a lot of people were expecting something maybe like five or six minutes because two minutes is easy to like to, you know, kind of dodge, maybe just un like avoid the dude. And again, you have to recharge it by getting a grip. Um, and that's kind of the, the, the downside of it, right? That you have to get a grip to, to use it, but uh, you can use it in chime. So overworld grips, work or chime grips work only if they're sent to the depth so if it's just like a regular chime match and they just go back and still have skulls they you don't get the recharge but if they lose all their skulls when you grip them you do get it uh, you do get the recharge back now as you guys can see once the elegy light goes away it goes on cooldown once again and i will need another power 20 grip in order to recharge it and so that's pretty much the entire thing on uh the elegy light and the light keeper medallion this guy actually got it from uh what's it called he got it from doing ferryman and i heard that you can maybe get it from layer two so those are the only two places i know that you can get it from and it's pretty rare i've actually asked arc mage and it's probably around sinner's ash rarity so you're probably going to be grinding for this thing for a while um but yeah dude it's pretty cool that it's a combat relic let me know your guys thoughts and we're going to go and do some chime match to showcase if it's actually useful all right let's go ahead and start so we got our first chime match here against a gale player um and actually so i just want to see if we had a gem right there now let's go ahead and proc it now no gems work against us i'm actually going to see how he's going to do now get a strong left here no, i'm not going to allow that to happen I'm actually gonna allow him to hit me with uh, his next mantra, just to see, like, just to see it in act. You know what I mean? Let's go ahead and shoulder bash here into the sightless beam. Nice, ooh, big damage from the sightless. Nice, dude. Nope, no effect on that gel lunge. Mm -mm. Pretty crazy, huh? I think that's actually, dude, that's actually pretty sick. So, like, from what I'm looking at, it looks like it's gonna last us pretty much damn near the entire chime match if you want to actually like i guess think about it in a more competitive sense you would probably want to use it um maybe like halfway until like the storm uh like once the storm arrives that's probably where i'd use it because at that point right like that, there's nothing your opponent can't just dodge you're gonna have to deal with you and so there's, there's like no bloodless for extra healing at the end which i think you know it has its uses right it's not gonna be anything too crazy but it is what it is as you guys can see no gems are procking on us 
Now, unfortunately, I can't unequip this sword. Oh, and it looks like he's about to... Yeah, he's done there. All right. So, let's see if we actually get it back. What is that? No, we do not get it back. Um, I'm actually interested, maybe it bugged out, but as you guys can see, the LG light is still going on. It was okay that match. Um, we're in the pretty much super low elo level, um, but dude, for the most part, it lasted damn near half the entire time match, which is pretty handy. As you guys can see, it does not give us a recharge once we take somebody, uh, somebody's life in chime, so let's do one more match here. All right, guys, now we're actually on the new map that they added. Um, everything here is breakable, which is pretty interesting. Um, so yeah, let, this guy looks like he probably runs a lot of deep gems, which I'm interested in seeing. Honestly, I think if they really want to add like a little extra buff, what they could do is like make like steal arc orders like little passive from it, and make it also like deny enchants that your enemy use, which would actually be pretty. That would be pretty strong as well. So who knows? Like they might just actually give it like a buff like that. All right, let's go ahead and pop the elegy real quick. Unfortunately, I don't think there's really an activation sound. There should definitely be like an activation ending sound, in my opinion. Nice. Okay, we managed him with that. Bunch of strong left. He's trying to get running him ones off of me. Shoulder back him into that. Yeah, so that right there, I think he had like a blows on that before. Maybe not. But uh like as far as I can tell, nothing landed did. Pretty cool. Nice. Ooh, nice little combo right there. Yeah, you can definitely tell this is like fresh elo because all he's doing is just running on ones. Like he's not even using it. It's kind of like a waste of our uh, what's it called? Um, waste of our use of the the light keeper medallion because it's not using it anywhere. And that's the end of that match. GG. Um, let me take a look. Oh wait, maybe I should have. Actually, this will be a good test. This will actually be a good test because if you kill someone while it's active, will it actually recharge it? Let's go ahead and go into another match because we just sent him to the depths. It's about to end here. Let's go into the match and see if it works. All right, let's see. Oh, and we do actually have the light, dude. Wow, that's actually that's actually really good in my opinion. They actually give you the light back if you, uh, what's it called? If you grip someone during it, it actually recharges it. That's actually really nice. So if you're going like crazy in like a boss raid or whatever, it just comes back ready for you to do like another two minutes. I think that's actually pretty cool. In my opinion, there could even be like a mechanical light. Dude, the more people you grip while like, you have it active, like the stronger the next one is. So like kind of compounds. Oh, dude, now he's using a rifle build, huh? Wait, wait, hold on. Did he just use a? Uh, <laughs> did he just use bullets? I thought they. I could. I could have swore they got rid of bullets. I just realized we're fighting a Sahar and <laughs> they're actually fighting a Sahar, so this does nothing for us. It'd be interesting if maybe like it did like some unique effect on Sahars. Maybe their Maticot is like a little less damage, dude. And that's a GG right there. That's gonna be pretty much all for the video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and dude, I hope they had more combat relics. We got another recharge. Peace.